Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Intentional daydream. So studies have shown that if you're less focused, it means that you're you're prone to make more mistakes of your work, you're you're prone to be less successful, you're prone to have poorer relationships. But did you know that different types of daydreaming, not all of them lead to being unproductive. There are two attention systems which keep track of what's going on around us. The first is a bottom-up system. The bottom-up system makes you aware of things. So when you're when you're working, you focus, it makes you aware of things in your surroundings that have changed. So it might be a ping of an email on a message, maybe someone tapping your shoulders, maybe a door slamming. And these help you to focus on those new things that have come into the environment. And obviously it breaks you away from the focus you had on your work. And the reason this happens is because in terms of evolution, if something new comes into your environment, you, then you might die and it's a danger. So how do we get out of this? How do we stop this from being a problem? We stop it from being a problem by isolating yourself, turning off your um, phone on airplane mode, not being contacted by other people, so you can just sit and focus and get on with your work. The next is the goal directed system. And this system helps you to focus laser focus on the work that you're doing and just stick at the work that you're doing. It's a constant tug of war between the executive control network, which is parts of your brain, which help you to focus on the work that you're doing and the default mode network. The default mode network is part of your brain that sorts out your memories and plans for the future and does filing, does organization. It's also the part of your brain which is most active when you're daydreaming. So if there's too much activity in the default mode network and not enough in the executive control network, then this means that you tend to daydream and you lose focus and you don't work and you're unproductive. So why is it easier to daydream than do anything else? Because there's less energy is actually required to use the default mode network than there is for the executive control network. So because you need less energy, that means your, your default mode, your default state is just to sit and daydream and imagine. So in intentional daydreaming, the executive control network is actually in charge of the default mode network. So what this means is you daydream, you think about other stuff, but it, there is some amount of focus to it. And this actually is shown to be the most productive form of daydreaming. And you do this in pockets of time. So you think to yourself, do you know what? I might just have a little daydream. So what do you think about? You think about, always think about stuff in the future. Always picture, visualize stuff that's happening in the future. Because by picture and visualize stuff that's happening in the future, it means it's your brain then goes, actually, this is the end result I wanna to get to. Come on, let's get back to work. So. I've got a big project that needs to be finished. Oh, I'm just imagining finishing a project and everybody celebrating, going out and having some drinks and everybody having fun and everybody congratulating me and it being amazing. Oh, okay, so if that's the goal we want to get, let's get, out and let's get back on with some work and let's get more focused on the work. Whereas if you daydream about things that have happened in the past, then your brain doesn't associate that with anything and your brain simply idles itself. So if you're thinking about stuff that's gone on in the past, there's no end goal for you there. Whereas if you think about the future, that's when your brain goes, that's what we want to get to, so let's get back on with the work. So if you want to daydream, the best work, best thing to do is some intentional daydreaming. Picture something in the future, picture something in, in terms of the project you're doing, the work you're doing, and what you want to achieve from that work. And it makes you more productive. Even if the thoughts of the future are thoughts of you failing or thoughts of you not achieving your goal, because then it still focuses your mind on, actually, we want to do this, we want to get through this, so therefore, let's get back on with the work and focus on it. So that is how you can use intentional daydreaming to help yourself to become more productive. Make yourself daydream in pockets of time, picture what's gonna happen in the future, visualize it. That's the best method, okay? If you enjoyed this, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Thanks for your time. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.